My friends told me a girl liked me when she really didn't. As a socially awkward kid who struggled to find connection, I decided to create a Tinder profile and start online dating. I figured, why not? It couldn't hurt, right? I used the app for about a month, sharing my progress with my friends. Unfortunately, my matches were few and far between. My friends noticed how down I was getting and decided to take matters into their own hands. They catfished me by creating a fake Tinder profile using pictures of a pretty girl from our school. They swiped right for me and pretended to be her, hoping to boost my confidence. At first, I was thrilled. I thought I had finally found someone who liked me. I would wave and say hi to the girl in class, but she seemed confused. I didn't realize that it was my friends pretending to be her. I even mustered up the courage to chat with her, but she looked uncomfortable and didn't respond. I was baffled. Eventually, my friends revealed that they had been catfishing me. I was devastated. My feelings were hurt, and I felt like a fool. My friends thought they were helping me, but their prank only made me feel more isolated and awkward. I left her notes inside her locker and things went bad. I had a crush on a girl in my school, and I didn't know how to express my feelings to her. I was too shy to approach her directly, so I came up with a plan to leave her notes in her locker room. I thought it was a romantic gesture, but in hindsight, it was probably creepy. I started leaving sticky notes with cheesy pickup lines and over-the-top romantic declarations. I would put them in her locker, hoping she would find them and realize how much I liked her. But instead of making her feel special, I was making her feel uncomfortable and even scared. One time, I wrote a note that said, you must be a camera, because every time I look at you, I smile. I thought it was cute, but she probably thought it was lame or even creepy. I also started commenting on her Instagram posts, using an anonymous account. I would write things like, you're so beautiful, I can't believe you're real or I can't stop thinking about you, you're my everything. I thought it was romantic, but it was probably just annoying and creepy. Eventually, the school started investigating who was leaving the notes and commenting on her Instagram. That's when I realized I had made a big mistake. I was embarrassed and ashamed, and I knew I had to stop. I didn't want to get in trouble or make the girl feel uncomfortable anymore. Looking back, I realized that my actions were not romantic, but rather creepy and inappropriate. She broke up with me after DNA results reveals family secret. To get up to speed, girlfriend thought it would be fun to do some ancestry DNA testing to see our origins and relatives especially since we get mistaken for being brothers and sisters. We sat down together, excitedly scrolling through the website to see what secrets our DNA held. My girlfriend's results were uneventful, but when we got to my family tree, things took an unexpected turn. I had always known my family was from the South, but I had never dug deeper into my ancestry. Imagine my surprise when the test revealed that I was a direct descendant of a Confederate general from the Civil War. My girlfriend's eyes widened in shock as she looked at me, her expression a mix of disgust and disappointment. How can you not be bothered by this, she asked, her voice trembling. Your ancestors fought to preserve slavery and oppress people like me. You should be apologizing for their actions. I was taken aback by her reaction. I had never considered myself a product of my ancestors' beliefs, and I certainly didn't condone their actions. But my girlfriend's words stung, and I felt a knot in my stomach. I didn't do anything wrong, I protested. I can't change the past, and I don't see why I should have to apologize for something I didn't do. My girlfriend's face twisted in anger, and she stood up, pacing around the room. You don't see it, do you? This is bigger than you. Your ancestors' actions have had a lasting impact on people like me, and you need to acknowledge that. I felt a chasm growing between us, and I didn't know how to bridge it. I didn't want to apologize for something I didn't do, but I also didn't want to lose my girlfriend over this. Days turned into weeks, and we barely spoke to each other. The tension between us was palpable, and I knew we couldn't continue like this. I tried to explain my point of view, but my girlfriend was unmoved. Finally, she broke up with me. She said she couldn't be with someone who didn't understand the gravity of his ancestors' actions and their impact on people's lives. I was devastated, but I couldn't change my beliefs to match hers. Girlfriend smashed my car after seeing me with another girl. To provide context, I have a sister. We don't talk very much as we literally live across the country from each other. So I don't mention her very often as we aren't very close anymore. Fast forward to me in high school. I start dating a girl. I thought she was the perfect girlfriend, but as time went on, I started to notice that she was increasingly possessive. One day, my sister came to visit for Thanksgiving and I told my girlfriend I would be spending time with family. My sister and I spent the day catching up and reminiscing about old times. It was great to have her back in my life, even if it was just for a short visit. But little did I know, Samantha had been keeping tabs on me. She saw me with my sister at the mall and immediately jumped to conclusions. She thought I was cheating on her and decided to take matters into her own hands. I received a call from my dad later that day, telling me that my girlfriend had smashed my Mustang. I couldn't believe it. 
I called her immediately, but she wouldn't pick up. She finally called me back, and when I asked her what she had done, she told me that it was what I deserved for cheating on her. Apparently, she had seen me with my sister at the mall and assumed that I was with another girl and that's why she had destroyed my car. I was devastated from this misunderstanding. Samantha and I broke up immediately after that. She tried to apologize and beg for forgiveness, but I couldn't forgive her for what she had done. Found out my girlfriend has a secret Instagram account and it gets worse. I had a fling with a girl while studying abroad. I liked to drink, but she didn't. I liked to smoke, but she didn't. I liked to gamble, but she didn't. She was everything I wanted to be and I think that was why I was attracted to her. However, I recently discovered that she has a secret Instagram account where she posts videos and pictures from her OnlyFans, and in these videos and pictures, she portrays herself as a cute and innocent girl. But they always end with her doing something contradictory to how she presented herself, her wearing a choker, smoking, pouring alcohol on herself in a swimsuit. I confronted her about it, and she apologized for not telling me earlier, saying that she liked the attention and money from the gig but also still liked me for who I am. I'm still dating her, but I'm feeling confused and concerned. Should I continue dating her, knowing that she's not the person I thought she was?